Well, that's number 81. That's the man to the left of me. That's uh, Josh Cartwright. The man to the right of me, his number's over here, and that's uh, 78, and that's Rami. But that's not that's your first name, but that's your nickname. Yep. Alva is your last name. Yep. But w how do you pronounce the first name? Yeah, you know, everyone gets has a hard time pronouncing my first name, but it's Rambler. And, uh, yep, everyone calls me Rami, though. All right. You got a nickname for this guy next to you? Uh, Dustin uh, Winter, that's pretty easy to, to say there, but uh, number 332, we're always watching you guys in qualifying. You guys are always doing a, a great job of qualifying and, and making main events. Sometimes you have problems, I yeah. know, bike problems or whatever, but um, talk a little bit about that qualifying. Yeah, qualifying is where it all starts. You got to get out there, put in your laps, and uh, it, it's always fun to see where, where you're at. You know, you got about 40 guys, and you got to you gotta make a, well, I think it's top 40, so maybe 60, but you got to you gotta be in that top 40 to get into the night show, and then that's your gate pick for the heat race. So, uh, you know, it, it all starts there, and you carry it out through the night. The uh, Triple Crown, yeah. that is where you really got to be on point for qualifying. No, yeah, that's for sure. The Triple Crown, it's only top 18, and then four in the LCQ. Uh, luckily this year in the triple crown we had um, I was able to get lay down a really good lap time I think I qualified 16th so I was able to go straight through to the night show and um, yeah but qualifying it's really important it sets like the tone for the day and yeah uh, let me go over to your other teammate over here because I know he had problems in Daytona. Josh, I, I watched in that last chance race, first time race day live ever went to Daytona. We normally didn't cover it, but we got a chance to cover it this year. And uh, pretty wild ride you had in that last chance race. Yeah, um, I shouldn't have been in there anyways. Uh, I got I was in seventh in the uh, heat race and just made a bone bonehead mistake and fell over. So I had to go to the LCQ and uh, just had a pile up on the, on the start and I hit my back straight on the concrete of the speedway and I uh, just couldn't ride for the rest of the week. And uh, that kind of screwed up just my points a little bit because I didn't get in the main because I've been in every single main since then. So hopefully uh, I'll gain some points this weekend and get to that top 15. Next weekend we have that showdown in Las Vegas. First we got to get through MetLife Stadium though, but that showdown, you got to be looking forward to that. Oh yeah, Vegas is always the most fun one because it's, it's Las Vegas. Who doesn't love Vegas? And uh, East and West will come together just like uh, Atlanta. So it's kind of like another rivalry from the East and West and whoever who we didn't beat last week or last time uh, definitely will be gunning them for him this time. We stayed a little dry, left the track a little dry, trying to get used to that kind of like Vegas. So um, started getting used to that, you know, the dirt because it gets really slick out there and it's really hard, really hard packed. So yeah, we try to practice, you know, leave the track conditions a little similar to Vegas. You know, I, I know everything about Blue Groove, so we're looking forward to it in Vegas. Like you, you all are saying, East-West Shootout. It's it's tough. You gotta you gotta be on your uh, your A game, or, or you're not gonna be in that night show. So looking forward to that and. Uh, Rain or shine, wet or dry, looking forward to it tomorrow, so it should be fun.